Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Insha'Allah, in this tutorial, we shall see how to approach a text completion question with three blanks. Before we proceed, there are some things to take care of. Number one, start reading the sentence and look for clues for each of the blanks. And start filling your guesswork in the blanks available. And even before that, the most important thing to take care of is to start looking at the blanks. Is to stop looking at the blanks because they'll confuse you. So, and if you feel a blank is tougher to fill with a guess word, leave it there and proceed to the next one. It is not always necessary that you guess a word in the blank. Sometimes going through the options may help you in getting the answer. So let's see. Step 1. Stop looking at the blanks. Step 2. Start reading the sentence. The company's efforts to improve safety were apparently dash. Either good or bad. Let's see what it is. At least according to the company's own data, which showed that the dash incidents, tough to guess, with the potential to cause a serious damage or accident declined significantly. Incidents with the potential to cause a serious accident declined significantly. A good thing, so the efforts must have been positive. Now go to the options and look for the word which is a positive one. Innovative, it's a positive word. B, successful, it's a positive word. C, frustrated, is not positive. So C is obviously ruled out and A and B are left. Now between these two, Let's see how to choose an answer. For you to say something is an answer, you should be able to prove it from the proofs available in the sentence. To simply put it, there must be some word in the sentence that uh, supports the word available here. Now, if we consider the word innovative, we do not have any word to support it that says the effort was new. For example, if we have a sentence like uh, the research was dash and is given a fresh certificate. So then if you have an option innovative, mm. innovative fits in there because of the fresh supporting it. Now let's see what it is here. So, so we don't have any word to support it. Now if we consider the word successful, probably uh, I think we have something to support it. Accidents declining significantly, something positive, meaning the efforts were fruitful. So successful must be an answer. Now let's proceed. Now, according to the company's own data, which showed, now which is referring to the data here, the data showed that the dash incidents with the potential to cause a serious accident declined significantly. If you're finding it tough to answer it, proceed, do not worry about the blank now. Nevertheless, independent analysts, nevertheless, is the word to take care of here. And words like nevertheless, although, but, still, in spite, despite of, alright, are all called thought contrasters, meaning they contrast the thought in the first sentence in the following one. So we are getting a contrasting thought here. Nevertheless, independent analysts argue that those statistics, that that data, or dash either corrupt or good since we have the word nevertheless here it must contrast with what the company stand is the company stand is they were good hence the independent analyst must be saying that those statistics must be bad so we are looking for a word which means bad to the third blank d h i or negative okay so g deceptive is a negative word H testable if you are not sure about the meaning or if you doubt it could be a bad word I mean it's a negative word so you can just retain it so we retain G and H I consistent it's not a negative word so out of G and H testable means for example this scientific project is testable meaning you can test for its authenticity of the scientific theory whether what it says is correct for example the boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees centigrade and this theory and this claim is testable take a thermometer and put it in the water and heat it okay not a normal one at your house 
should buy a uh, thing that can sustain the temperature. Now, so we can eliminate H as well, and we are left with option G, deceptive. So, so so far we got answers for two blanks. Now let's come back to the second blank, which showed the incidence now dash incidents. Let's directly go through the blanks. Frequency of incidents declined significantly, meaning number of incidents causing damage, causing accident declined. It's a good thing, so that first would you. So my choice would be frequency. Let's still look at the other options. Impediments means blockade. Blockade to incidents with damage. Or simply put, stoppage to accidents declined, which is a bad thing. So the efforts did not do anything, they were not successful. So it could be ruled out. Now, attention to incidents declined. If attention declined, that necessarily need not mean that the efforts were good. Maybe the company still has a lot of accidents and it is hiding them. So the answer must be frequency of. And hence we are left, so the answer should be successful, the frequency of, and deceptive, B, D, and G. Inshallah, in the next video, we shall see at another question. And if you are interested in taking, if you are interested in taking my online GRE classes, you can contact me through Skype, and my ID is Sayyid Mushtaq, spelled S-A-Y-Y-I-D, Yum U S H T A Q. Assalamu alaikum.